Today we will be working on adding and subtracting scientific notation with different exponents. The first equation you see 7.4 times 10 to the second power plus 2.735 times 10 to the sixth power is working on adding and that will be the first one that we are doing. And the second problem, 7.32 times 10 to the 6th power minus 4.01 times 10 to the 8th power it will be the second problem we will be doing. And it's focusing on subtracting numbers. So when you're adding exponents, you want them, you want the exponent to be alike. But on here, 10 to the 2nd power and 10 to the 6th power are not alike. So in order for me to make 10 to the second power to 10 to the sixth power like, I will have to make 10 to the second power be 10 to the sixth power, which means I will have to go up four. And when I go up four on this side, I'll have to go down four place decimal places on 7.4. For this side, I will I will have to I will leave that the same until I can do something with it. So when I move the decimal back on 7.4, I will count back four decimal places, which is one, two, three, four, which means my new decimal will, will be right here, and I will fill in this with three zeros and a point. So my new decimal my new decimal point will be zero point zero 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 seven four. That is my new decimal point when I move the decimal back four places. So my new equation after I did all that is zero point zero zero seven four times ten to the sixth power plus 2.35 2.735 times 10 to the 6 power so now i can just forget now i can just forget about this and focus on this now that my exponents are alike i can add my decimals so when you add decimals, you will want to line them up. Line the decimal points up. So when I add that together, zero. 0 plus 4 is 4, 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 plus 2 and 2. Your decimal point should be lined up so you could just easily bring it down. So my new decimal point for both numbers added together is 2.73574. I want to remember that when I rewrite my equation. So I'm going to rewrite 2.73574 times 10 to the 6th power because remember I, turn, I changed 10 to the second power to 10 to the sixth power now I just could bring it down so the answer to my equation is 2.73574 times 10 to the sixth power